Someone finally said it. What's up, guys? What up, hang gang? Hope y'all are doing fantastic. Let me take this thing off. Whew, had it on for a while. How's everyone doing? If you're watching this on replay, welcome. We're going to get into some juicy topics, all right? I'm answering a lot of questions on this live stream. Just get that right, okay? And we're also going to get into the word. So hang on tight. Hope you enjoy the replay. Hope you guys can hear me okay. How's everyone doing? All right. So guess what? Someone actually said it. So the title of this live stream is I'm putting the helmet on, and guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, you can also put on this helmet. Ephesians chapter 6, put on the helmet of salvation. Now, I know you guys probably thought some type of football team, but you know what? I'm actually going to answer some questions on this live stream. Am I still trying to play professional football? Stay tuned. I'll answer those questions, all right? I will. Take it easy, all right? Also, notice this behind me. This is entire um, Bible on the blanket. Also, Knoxville, what up, bro? He said, imagine thinking your husband is going to the NFL, but he really mixes every cereal together for a living. Guess what? I love the insults and reproaches because guess what? I know God's blessing me through it all. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's a good lesson for all of you listening. When people try to insult or do anything else to you, remember, if God is for you, who could be against you? All right, so... I am going to answer some questions, but first, let me read a passage of scripture, and then also, like I said, I'm going to answer any questions you guys got. So if you want to ask me, Turk, are you still trying to play football? Or if you have any questions about the recent content, it's been a lot of fun. I'll answer some of those as well. So yeah, I do have the helmet here. This is my OU helmet. Check out the back. Check out all the stickers. Also... I leveled up my webcam for these live streams, guys. But yeah, pretty cool. I don't know what the zebra one is, actually. No, that was when I was at the Shrine Bowl. It was to measure um, the velocity of the football in the air. Pretty cool. Okay, if you have if you have your Bible, open it up to Ephesians chapter 6, or just listen. I'm going to read this passage real quick. This is the Apostle Paul speaking. He's talking about spiritual warfare and putting on the whole ar armor of God. Here we go. Verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope all of you have your full armor on. I really do. Because the reality of the devil in this world is 100% real. And if you're not armored up, you're vulnerable, okay? You're easy prey. Let's keep going. For we do not for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil even in the heavenly places. That's kind of insane to think about. So, I don't know how many of you on here um believe in demons, but if you're a believer, you should because it's biblical. And right here, it's talking about the reality of, of things we can't even see in the heavenly realms. There are spiritual forces of darkness. And so often we think it's just, you know, good angels. But um, no, the Bible makes it clear that there's a spiritual force of darkness as well. And that's, I mean, that's not too hard to convince people either. When you look around and see all the evil that's going on in the world. Um, so the good news is, though, as we keep reading, we can do something about it as believers. Here we go. Verse 13, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil, evil day and having done all to stand firm. Uh, I'm going to answer questions on this, guys. Don't worry. So if you have any right now, please ask him. I'll try to sort through them and, and answer them. But real quick, I want to say sometimes people think Christianity is soft or is just like a passive experience. And being a man is not good. But right here, I love how Paul's reminding us, heck no. You're literally in a spiritual war. Bro, this war is is just like you see real physical war. It's the same thing, but in spiritual reality. So if you're not, if you're not taking up your shield of faith, if you're not 
taking up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, if you're not putting on the helmet of salvation and really armoring up to fight the good fight, um, it's going to be a bad time for you. But I, I love this because, again, I think people kind of have it twisted that being a Christian is just being soft or, um, yeah, just a passive experience. But no, God wants you to to get in the fight and, and fight for good, fight for righteousness in this world where a lot of terrible things happen. I see a lot of questions of football. Someone said he made the UFL. Guys, I will... <laughs> I will um, I will talk about football in a moment, okay? Right now, I'm just reading through the scripture. And I will talk about what I plan on doing moving forward with my YouTube and football. So if you guys have questions about that, stay tuned. Luke, I don't know why you keep commenting the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are about that. We can talk about that. But I do believe there's only one true gospel, and it's not preached in the Church of Latter-day Saints. Okay, let's keep going. Verse... 13, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be, able to, may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. So here, if you're unfamiliar with this portion of scripture, he's listing all the different uh, pieces of the armor, and they're all intentional for a specific purpose. So you can study that more yourself. But I just love how um, it's like I love the imagery. You know, if have you have you ever seen the movie Three Hundred? Any of you in here? You know, the Spartan warriors with all their different armor. It's the same thing, bro. I love it as a spiritual as a spiritual warrior. Put on the full armor of God, and each part plays its purpose. So let's keep going. Verse sixteen. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. So that imagery right there, I'm sure all of us can relate to this, but I want all of you on here listening, whether it's live or on replay, think of a time where you were either tempted with sin, you were either struggling with something and losing some faith, right? You were going through some trial. So all of you in here, think of that time. And now think about the imagery of having a shield of faith. So for you watching, next time you go through a trial, next time you go through a struggle or a temptation, and Satan's trying to pick at you, trying to shoot a flaming dart at you, bro, pick up that shield and block that junk. That's what the Bible's saying we can do. And I love that imagery because it's, again, it's not just like you're sitting here um, in the waiting room or in the in the security gate waiting to get on the plane, waiting to go to heaven. No, you have to actively lift up your shield and do that. And so really speaking practically now, uh, for all of you listening, I do this on a daily basis. You don't think Satan's trying to attack me? He is. He is. So I have to do this on a daily basis, but I know God's word is powerful. And Satan is scared of Jesus. So for all of you, be encouraged when you place your faith in the Lord. Uh, there's nothing he can really do to you. But let's keep going. And don't worry, I'm getting to questions. I'm getting to questions. Don't worry. Yes, I will answer one of the questions with my helmet on later. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying this new, this new uh, 4K face cam. It's actually crazy. <clears throat> Don't worry, guys. I actually uh, am friends with Roger Goodell, and he's giving me part ownership in the NFL. That's that's what I'm going to announce later. Just kidding. That was a really dumb joke. All right, let's keep going. Um, verse 16. No, we already read that. Verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation. Yes, sir. So, obviously, I have a visual illustration here. This isn't the helmet of salvation, but that's what Paul is saying. Spiritually, if you put on the helmet of salvation, right? Because the mind is a battlefield. You put on the helmet of salvation, you are reminded of all of the, the, the good realities that God has for you, the good promises that God has for you, that you're saved, that there's nothing uh, in this world that can truly take away your joy because you're, 
your joy is rooted in Jesus and you have an eternal salvation, bro, that's why we need to wear the helmet of salvation every day. And again, it's not a football helmet. That's for sure. Because guess what? This is fleeting and the, a uh, fiery dart would go right through that. All right, let's keep going. Hope you guys liked that illustration. Um, and thus, oh, I love this. Verse 17. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Guys, guys, I know there's a lot going on in the chat. I know there's a lot of people waiting for me to answer some questions. But honestly, if you get anything out of this, I hope you get multiple things. But the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So again, we're talking about the full armor of God that is available to all believers. That is the first piece of the armor that is on the offensive, if you've noticed that. So for all of you listening to this, you don't have to just sit back and always defend yourself. But as a spiritual warrior for Jesus, the word is described as the sword. So in any situation, you can take the word of God, apply it to your life, and now you're 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 a warrior for Christ when you do that. It's the sword of the spirit. So as an example, let's see here. I'm just thinking on the spot. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do next. I don't know where to turn. Um, wait a second. Matthew 6 33. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else will be added unto you. Okay, bet. I'm gonna seek God first and seek his kingdom first, share the gospel. Everything else is gonna follow. So that's an example of using your sword and a practical tip for all of you listening, the more you read the word, the better swordsman you are. It's true. Okay, let's keep going. We're almost done. And then I'll answer some questions. <clears throat> Which is the word of God? Praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication. Okay, we'll stop right there. So verse 18, I love how Paul ends it with praying at all times. So guys, I want to encourage all of you in here, whether you're watching live or on replay, it's not just, you're not alone wearing the full armor of God. You also have access to literally God himself. So take comfort in that reality. And that's really why you're going to make it to the end because God is for you. All right, let's answer some questions. Hope you guys enjoyed that Bible study. Um, let's see which question I see first. Someone asked me a question. Are you going to the NFL? I've thought about it, bro. That question is sent in from Batman. Well, if you guys know my story, I was with the Dolphins. It got released. I actually had three workouts this past season, but to answer that question for real, I'll stop joking around. Um, whatever the Lord's will is. And here's my answer. If I get an opportunity. So let's say this, this next season, a team wants to bring me into training camp. Yeah, I would go and, and actually try to compete and win the job. But the reality is, whatever God wants to happen is going to, and I'm perfectly fine if I never play a snap of football again the rest of my life. Because I know God's the one who's sovereignly orchestrating my steps. And also, I really, I feel like my passion for YouTube has, go, has grown so strong that I want to capitalize on that passion for YouTube and on this channel. So I'm going to keep going ham at that and see where it takes me. Honestly, Lord willing, one day I can reach a million subscribers. And I don't know, guys, lately, as, if you've been watching my content, I've been trying to think of crazier ideas. And so that's been a lot of fun for me. So I'm really thinking of more and we'll see what God's will is, if he blesses it or not, if it keeps going. But I'm excited for what the future holds. And again, if I get it, if like, for example, if a team calls me up and says, hey, come compete in training camp, heck yeah, I would go do that. But if not, we're going to keep rolling and do I'm going to control what I can control and give it up to the Lord. What about XFL? Well, XFL is actually no longer a thing. It's the UFL now. <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can I play five nights at Freddy's? You know, I've actually thought about, if you guys look at my recent videos, I, uh, I did a plane as myself in Madden. And that was pretty fun to record. And it wasn't that hard to edit either. And it got a lot of views. So like, I just don't, I don't want my channel to be a lot of gaming videos, honestly. But I feel like here, hey chat, let me know. Should I do a gaming series of trying to do a couple more things in, in Madden? 
and maybe I don't know, try to get a, a Vic Royale and commentate over it. I don't know. Might be kind of funny, but I don't know. I don't really want to do video games. I see a lot of yeses. I could just straight up start a whole nother gaming channel, but you guys, it actually takes a lot more effort than you think to do these videos. Okay, maybe I'll do one Fortnite video, get a Vic Royale. I'll do a Call, a Call of Duty video, getting a, a nuke. Is that even a thing anymore? Tactical nuke. With only throwing knives, guys. While wearing my helmet. Now, nah, also though, for real. Um, yeah, we can talk YouTube now if you guys want. So basically, oh, first of all, thank you, Jacob Toledo. Mike, love how much you've grown into a man of God. Keep going. Thanks, bro. Appreciate the, the $10 donation, Jacob. Thanks so much. Bro, wait a second. Hold up. There was a Jacob Toledo I was friends with in elementary school. Is this the same Jacob Toledo? Is this the same Jacob Toledo? <laughs> There's actually no way. That'd be insane. No, is it really? He said, haha, yes. Hey, that's so cool, bro. What up? Dude, it's crazy how the Lord works. That's so cool you're in here, Jacob. Hey, man, appreciate that. Keep fighting the good fight of faith, bro. God bless. That's so cool. Um, Wow. Anyway, let's keep going. So, yeah. <laughs> Someone from my elementary school? That's insane, bro. All right, let's just keep, let's keep talking about the YouTube subject. So, if you're interested at all, my plan for my YouTube going forward. Because, guys, my content has changed the past month. You, you've... If you've been following my channel, you would have noticed that. And let me just explain real quick. For those who don't know how the YouTube algorithm works, it's like I want to do videos of me just working out, vlogging, and that's fun. But also, there's a chance my main subscribers, so Hang Gang, would click on that. But there's also a chance you guys can't or wouldn't because let's be honest, I'm not that special or interesting, right? I can only go so far with myself. So lately I've been like, you know what? Let me try to think of generally appealing ideas or things that I think would be fun to do and then make a video about that and still show my personality through that. And that's how I would reach new viewers and grow my channel. And so that's been really fun. And I didn't know if it was going to work or not, but thankfully it's been working. So I'm just going to continue to try to think of larger and larger ideas and always still be myself in those videos and be genuine and try to um, still be personable in those videos. But there's a secret that not many people know about. I do have a secret channel called Hang On. And in that video, I mean, in that channel, my plan going forward is to do more low effort, chill, less edited vlogs, whether I'm punting or working out or whatever. And so. Yeah, if you want to subscribe to that channel, please do. But on the main hang time channel, y'all, I'm really trying to go all out. Like I'm I'm like every time I think of an idea now, I'm like, how can I make this interesting? And how much effort can I really put into this to make it almost like a, a TV episode or something? Right. So that's my plan going forward. So I have a couple interesting ideas. And if you guys have any good video ideas, feel free to comment them too. <clears throat> I hope, I hope you guys found that interesting, any of you listening to this. By the way, if you haven't already, please hit the notification bell. That really helps me out. Let's see. Is there any more questions? What's my favorite Bible verse? By the way, if you guys haven't noticed this, bro, this thing is literally the entire Bible on one blanket behind me. It's insane. But my favorite Bible verse, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Uh, Jesus responds to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Love that Bible verse, because God's grace is sufficient for us, our salvation. Yes. And also, just for our day-to-day -day life, the rest of our life. Uh, so I love that verse. It's a great reminder. What's up, Paige? Kanye for Prez. Get a haircut, my guy. That's crazy, bro. What's wrong with my hair? No, you're right. I do need a haircut. Uh, 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. Looking for another question. Hey, Mike. Bodog said, hey, Mike, how can I leave a better imprint as a Christian? Really, it's it's a good question. It's um, I think of the parable of the the talents. So for everyone watching this live stream, first of all, I hope that you're a believer to begin with. I hope that you realize your need for Jesus and give him your life. Because guys, the reality is this world has nothing remotely good to offer compared to Christ. And Jesus can forgive all your sin. But if you are a believer, uh, to not waste your life, I think of the parable of the talents. How are you using what God has given you? Because we're all stewards, right? We're all stewards. We all have different gifts and abilities. And if you're using those for God and really using them all out, then you're maximizing your fruitfulness, right? So I encourage you with that. Um, hello, Tiffany. Thank you for that $10 donation. I think you did it twice. I hope that wasn't by accident. I'm sorry if it was, but thank you so much, Tiffany. I really appreciate that. And shout out to Liam. Appreciate you, bro. Any more questions? Wu said, what's your next step in pro football? Making another YouTube video. Are you going to the draft this year? Are you entering the draft? Guys, you can only enter the draft once. Well, in my situation, I actually did do it twice, 2020 and last year because I went back to school after the uh, pandemic. They let me come back. But no, you can only go to the draft once. Like you, once you're once you're not, you're only draft eligible once. Like it's your last year in college. And again, in my case, I was twice, but that's, extenuating circumstance. I, I'll never be draft eligible again. At this point, I'm a free agent. So a team could still pick me up. And if you missed it earlier, I talked about that. Like, yes, if a GM called me, hey, what's up, Jimmy John? Oh, you want me to come to training camp? Sure, I'm going to come and I'm going to focus and get after it. But again, I can't just, guys, I can't base every decision of my life based on this theoretical probability of a team calling me. I'm still going to work out. I'm still going to punt. I'm still going to stay flexible and train. But also, I'm trying to capitalize on my YouTube right now and can control and control what I can and give it to the Lord. But it would be it would do me no good to sit here and just pout about it. So um, that's why I love YouTube so much because I can really put, like, I know my effort and my work is not in vain. And really, nothing we do is in vain if we're doing it for the Lord. But especially with YouTube, like, the more work, like, I put a lot of work into, for example, two videos ago, the chocolate bar video. If you watch that, I know it looks like it looks like it's not a lot of work because I'm having a lot of fun. Like it's it's a lot of fun to make those videos, but to actually edit them and and do everything myself because I don't have an editor, I don't have a, a video guy, I don't have a thumbnail person. So I'm doing all this, but I love it because the more work I put in, I feel like the better the video comes out, and then the more my channel continues to do well, like and grow. So I love doing that. It's really fun. And uh, even if the video didn't do good, like I, I still find the process of making something that I'm trying to give to my audience is fun. Right. And it's, it's rewarding. So um, now I can, I can still punt every day, but like, again, am I trying to make the NFL of court? Like, yeah, I would take that opportunity, but I feel like, a lot of that can be futile effort and at some point become counterproductive because now I'm spending, the more time I spend doing that, the less time I spend growing my channel. Okay. Also, I don't think the NFL likes YouTubers. Let me just say that. I don't think teams like people doing YouTube. <laughs> um, no, seriously, they don't. I uh, have inside information. Um, who is your idol, bro? Come on. We're not supposed to have idols. Can I, someone said, can I combine all the brands of soap and wash my hands with them? Um, I've actually thought about that because like, and actually that'd be a fun question for the chat. What's a different video idea I can do like mixing everything, but also I don't know, like at the end, 
there's no payoff of like me tasting it or something like I, I'm just going to try it at the end. And like, I feel like it won't be that interesting. Okay. Actually guys, I need your, I need your, um, feedback chat. I'm thinking of a video idea. Oh, master builders. What's up, man? This guy's a beast. You should combine all ice cream flavors. Yeah, I've seen that. I think I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do the all ice cream flavors. I think the technic I think the technicality or the logistics of that might be tough though, because as I'm mixing all of them, what if they start melting? And I don't have a lot of space in my freezer. Like I didn't realize how much space the cereal boxes took up. And I'm imagining, bro, when you when you buy like every single one of thing of something at the at the store. Bro, it's more than you think. Like, I, I tried to get that across in my video. Like, I filled up three carts of the cereal. I was like, bro, I thought this was going to be like one cart max. I don't know why. In my head, I was like, no, nah, they're all fit in one cart. But no. So this, I feel like the ice cream will be the same thing. But I think it'd be fun. I'm either going to do ice cream or the sauce. I think mixing every, no, every condiment. So like literally mustard, ketchup, mayo. Does pickle count as a condiment? I don't know relish yeah i'll mix it all into one and then like do a taste test at the end with my friends into a burger i think that'd be kind of funny but okay check me out check me out so here's my question chat it's funny saying chat that's like a that's like a, a streamer term i don't like twitch i don't i don't like twitch i don't know i don't understand the intrigue with twitch i guess that's kind of what i'm doing right now though but um okay question for you guys does this make sense so I've seen like viral drive through videos. Like I like Ryan Trahan a lot. I'm sure if you've noticed, if you watch Ryan Trahan, you've noticed my recent editing is, is like inspired by him. I'm sure you can understand that. But um, anyway, he did a video going through every drive through to get the most expensive item. And I've seen other YouTubers do different drive through videos. But what if I did like, going through every fast food drive through and the title will be like, I kept ordering until they stopped asking. And the thumbnail is me talking to the teleprompter at the drive through and that with text over it saying anything else. So basically the storyline is going to be like, which, fa which fast food restaurant upsells the best. And literally I will keep, I will keep like, I'll keep ordering as long as they keep saying anything else. But as soon as they say, okay, first window, or does that complete your order? I'm going to stop. And then we're going to see which restaurant runs up the highest bill, who has the best persuasive skills. I don't know if that makes sense, though. I feel like it might be kind of hard to get across in the title. Um, hey, thank you, Team Hyped. I really appreciate the $5 donation, bro. He said, hey, Turk, I love the vids. I have a few questions. One, can you do a day in the life video? And two, how often do we need to repent for our sins? Thanks. So great question for all of you listening. So for the 498 of you on here, um, I already talked a little bit about my YouTube plans and why my content has changed recently. But um, a day in the life. So I did, I did a day in the life NFL free agent. But here's the thing. The way YouTube works is, so if I were to make a video and I titled it like, come work out with me or like day in the life, um, whatever again, NFL free agent, or just like date night with grace, right? It's, it's going to be shown to all my subscribers on the homepage and most of them won't click on it. For those who are really dedicated hanging, you will click on it. And I appreciate that. But some of you won't even watch a lot of it because again, I'm just a, a, a human. How interesting could I really be? I'm not, I'm nothing special. So once I realized that I'm like, let me think of ideas to do or videos to do that are based off of ideas and I'll show my personality throughout the video. And so that's my team hyped and for everyone listening, that's my plan going forward with the main hang time channel is I want to think of unique ideas or challenges or, or experiences, even, even like, I like how Ryan Trahan does like the low budget experiences and choose to do those and show my personality through those. So that way, I'm catering to my current audience to hang gang, but also ganging new subscribers and on the hang on channel. So I have a secret channel called hang on H A N G O N. I plan on 
doing more chill vlogs of whatever, working out, going on a, you know, going to some, I don't know, arcade, whatever, like doing just random stuff and also doing um, talking videos. So that's my plan moving forward. And then also, how often do we need to repent for our sins? Well, I want to encourage everyone, everyone listening, you need to make sure you have truly repented of your sins and given your life to Jesus. Because the Bible says our life is like a vapor. And I promise you, the passing pleasure of sin, whether that's sexual immorality, um, you name it, any other sin uh, or lying or stealing or being greedy or covetous or prideful doesn't compare with knowing Christ and knowing that your sins are forgiven and going to heaven. So you need to repent like for your salvation and believe in Christ, but then on a practical level, as you're a believer, um, I think just every once in a while, thank God again for that forgiveness that he's already given you and ask the Holy Spirit to continue to sanctify you. Because once you're a believer, like your sins are forgiven past, present, and future. So repenting is, it's it's a tough to like use that word now because you've already repented of your sin but again, you still fall into sin. So you need to ask God to continue to, yeah, to lead you and guide you and remind you of the forgiveness he's already given you, if that makes sense. But good question. Sly Fox, thank you for the $2 donation. You said, I'm a Fortnite pro. If you need a duo for the vid. Oh, dude. I don't know, guys. Should I, should I, should I do a Fortnite video? I, I don't know. I feel like I could have just a straight up gaming channel, but also... I don't know how much I want to promote video games, like for real. Plus, I'm low key too good at Fortnite. I'd be, I'd get a victory royale every single time. It wouldn't be fun to watch, bro. I, I can actually get a Vic Royale with using no shield. Uh, Jared said, "Go to the NFL." Jared, I'm going to go to the NFL. I'm going to go to. Where are the NFL headquarters? I don't know. I was trying to think of a joke. I don't have anything. Sorry, Jared. I was trying to think of a joke. Um, hey, Best Bodies for Life. Shout out to Best Bodies for Life. Best Bodies for Life is listening. Anyone need protein powder? Best Bodies for Life is a Christian protein powder brand owned by my friend and CEO, Raul Garcia. So uh, I actually shut, they're actually, uh, I, I had in, an Instagram post with them. If you're interested, go check that out and order some best bodies for life. <sighs> Mix every meat and make an ultra meat burger. Bro, I thought about that. I think that'd be so gross though. Like there's low key a lot more uh, meats than you think. Because if I mixed every meat and made a burger, I'm, I mean, I'm talking shrimp, tuna, pig, cow, horse, dog. I don't, I'm not going to buy dog and mix dog. I'd be, that, I'm sorry. That's where I, I, I be, I'm, I'm becoming increasingly more unhinged on my videos, but that's where I would draw the line. Um, hey, thank you, Enu, for the $5 donation. Are you excited for the NFL offseason? Um, not really. How do you mix football with your salvation? You don't mix football and your salvation. But if what you're asking is how do you how do you um how do you like bring Christ into every part of your life? Well, there's no secret or magic formula to that. That's just a matter of truly living out your faith and giving God the glory in all that you do. Hey. Thank you for the 555 donation. Sergeant Fighter, what up, brother? Thank you. I'm a former pro boxer in the United States Marine. Thank you for your service. Do not give up on your dreams. Stay motivated in Godspeed. Luke 10, 19. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. 555. I like that. Let's see what Luke... What is it? Luke 10, 19. Ooh. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Verse 20, nevertheless, 
do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Wow. That's amazing. And guys, um, I will say, I think it's interesting. I grew up in a football family. My uncle, Matt Turk, played in the NFL for 19 years. My dad was uh, a phenomenal athlete. My brothers played Division One football. Um, obviously, I played D1 football. I was with the Dolphins, then I got cut. So I've been around football my whole life. My other uncle, Dan Turk, played in the NFL for a long time, too. He passed away uh, a while ago, but he was a beast center and long snapper. So I've been around football. And yes, it's my, you know, it was my career goal. I don't, I, the word dream, I mean, in the Bible, if you, the Psalm 37, 4 says, delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. So it's good to like go after what God uh, places on your heart to go after. But yeah, it was a goal of mine to make the NFL and still is a goal if that's God's will. But honestly, um, Again, my passion for YouTube has grown to a point where I see the upside and the longevity of my channel if God continues to bless it. And that gets me really excited. Whereas football, again, I would take the opportunity if it comes, but there's so much less, um, I don't know how to describe it, less stability, which sounds interesting because you would think YouTube is like very low stability. But I just love the process of making videos and and being able to reach a lot of people with the gospel as well. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I, don't, I don't mean to ramble too much about this. Oh, sorry. I almost missed this. Thank you for that donation, Taylor. Did you go to FTS last year at OU? I live in Tulsa. I don't know what FTS is. FTS last year at OU. I live in Tulsa and came over for it also. Oh, Fields of Faith? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry, brother. Thank you for the donation. Mixing all gum. I've actually thought about that. Uh, I might do that in the future. Why don't I try out for the CFL? I don't like the cold. Canadian geography. I'm sorry, brother, but I think the CFL is cool, though, honestly. Bro, my webcam has really stepped up its game. I look, this looks way better. My old webcam was terrible. Well, guys, is there any more questions? Can you go to Chick Fil A until they don't say my pleasure? <laughs> That would be funny. That would be funny. Oh, Taylor, thank you so much for that. A Christian concert. No, I didn't go to that. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't understand what you meant. No, I didn't go to that. Thank you so much for that, though, Taylor. All right, guys. I love, I love all of you. Please keep fighting the good fight of faith. Keep your trust in the Lord. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. Check out my other videos. If you haven't seen my most recent ones, please check them out and watch to the end. It really helps me out when you guys watch the entire video. Hit that notification bell. I love you guys. Make sure, hey guys, remember. Put on that helmet of salvation. Wow, I really didn't say that well. Put on that helmet of salvation. And it's not a football helmet. It's a spiritual helmet. God bless. Love all of you.